Stick and move with this thing. Get ready! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Iowa Live. It is Friday. You know what happens around here on Friday. So <laughs> we bring the headliner from the funny bone, and we and I learned something about you, John, that I did not. John Morgan, the raging cage. Raging was, cage. I learned something about uh -oh. him this morning that I didn't know. After all these years, you never told me that you have something in common with Jimi Hendrix. Please. Please. In, in he like opened me. for the monkeys. John I did. Morgan I did opened for the monkeys like Jimi Hendrix opened for the monkeys. I did do that. It was in my hometown. I was a little kid and we um we we always went to see productions at this place called uh, the Sanger th uh, Theater, and and um, it was a wonderful place. And you were it, it just like uh, recently on on the interview, this that gentleman you had here yeah. that restored Mike that Sherman, yeah. beautiful theater, all yeah. gilded and gorgeous. Very best to you, sir, and I wish you and all your staff the very best on that. So I'd go to this thing as a kid, and uh, you know after years, you know we just uh, it was amazing to watch productions there. And so I got a call uh, later on in my career. Uh, you know, I say my career later as I grew up, uh, you know, doing comedy, and uh, said, "Would you come and open for the?" monkeys and uh, I was like yes so I con <laughs> this lady contacted me did you me. know who the monkeys were uh, yeah yeah because we because you know I'm 55 and the last of nine kids mm -hmm. so I got a brother 70 something my mother and father at this point would be in their hundreds you know what I mean so um, they, they literally they literally called and asked me what do I want in my green room and I'm like the green room I never knew anything about that right. kind of stuff, you know what I mean? And I was like, oh, just some Dixie beer and boudin. Boudin <laughs> is a rice dressing in a, in a, in a, in a stocking, uh, uh, you know, a uh, uh, casing, right? Okay. Uh, it's, a, it's a Cajun dish. And I just spit that out, like, you know what I mean? Joke, yeah. I roll into this green room, and there's a whole pan of boudin <laughs> and a thing of Dixie beer. Hey! And I was like, if Woo! I'd have known they were going to really do this, I'd have been, I need some steak, some shrimp, I'm going to need some crab meat, I'm going to need a... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a newscast lady with a hair pulled to one side because it's sexy. What? What? Your writer has completely changed. Yeah. Completely so what changed. Do you, what do you have at the funny bone in your green room at the funny bone now? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Okay. Yeah. nothing. Uh, I did get some small uh, orange wedges from the bar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. So fun. Moving on up. Moving on up. This is good. Man, I roll in here. We got another beautiful face. Dude, listen to me. <laughs> is this a great country Dude, or what? This, this is like a bad version of Beauty and the Beast. Oh, <laughs> Don't call the Beast. <laughs> you, okay. you, you. My oh, gosh, John. Oh, this is all we have to offer in the morning, ladies and gentlemen. This is it. This is it. This is it. You don't like it. Get oh, out. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. Oh, goodness. Yeah, the, now the, the guy behind the camera, fine-looking young man, mm -hmm. isn't he? Yeah. He's a nice jack, man. Are you connected to that camera? Yeah. Come, yeah. You are? What do you mean you connected to it? You ain't got no wire to it. Just leave it right there. Come here, son. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, shit. Come here. Come here. Uh oh, here we go. Here we go. Come here. <laughs> this is what this station produces, young people like this. He's not only uh, uh, doing part-time here working this camera, he's also going to school for media, too, and one day we're going to see productions that he puts on. So the, right. the family Jack. here is really awesome. Very best to you, Jack. All right. Very there best you go, Jack. Yeah. Yeah. Do me a favor, get back on that one and make my color better. I look I'm, I'm, I'm yeah. white. That was, that was the real reason he brought him over here. You make him look better, right? No, but your son's Jack, right? My son is Jack, yeah. too. I got two of them in, in, uh, at LSU okay, now. Okay, who are they? Jack and who? Jack and Jake. Okay. Uh, both of them are attending LSU now. They're still alive, uh, still doing well. Yeah. They're, they're, Haven't killed them yet. Um, it's it's going to happen. <laughs> I heard you're the man to get the parenting tips from. I'm not. I'm an old school parent. I'm an old school parent. I'm. I'm not a, uh, a political uh, correctness person, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't. I'm not friends with my children. I'm their father, and I wish we had more of that. Uh, kids need parents. They don't need friends. Uh, more kids are having kids, hence why we have that going on, you know, and why I bring it to stage in a humorous way to talk about things I honestly and truly yeah. believe in. I have the third one, which is my baby girl, you mm -hmm. know, that I adopted from China when she was eight months old. Beautiful child. I'm so very blessed. People say, uh, you know, how, what a blessing it was for us to do that. It has nothing to do with us. The, what we received is, a, in, is, is, is immense. And I'll tell you something very honestly. If I had to do it all over again, I would have three Chinese children. I would not have those boys. <laughs> <laughs> He's honest. 
<laughs> the GPA oh, went man, straight through the roof, man. Jack and I mean, we, we were rolling watching. around a D average when the Chinese <laughs> child came. She so away. <laughs> we went straight to possible, you know. There you go. So now you're above average. I right? am looking for scholarships. <laughs> <laughs> but that's your that's your baby, though. That's right? my baby girl. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm learning to be free with my reactions. You know, uh, my children attend a math, science, and arts academy. Uh, 49, 49, and I'm talking about percentages of students and where they are. 2% international, 49 black, right. 49 white to type of deal, right? Um, and so people celebrate differently. Culturally, we celebrate differently. And, um, and now that my children are attending a school that's multiracial, mm -hmm. uh, more so than when they attended the Catholic school, uh, it's probably only 20% African American at that particular point, we're literally watching people celebrate. You know, I sat there like this, like I thought I was supposed to, going, yay, yay, yay. And then I didn't realize when my child got to be, got to get the math award, I mean, nobody in my family ever. I mean, we even tried Ancestry.com. They were like, no, nobody in your family <laughs> did good in math. <laughs> No, no, uh, no nobody. mathematics, move on. <laughs> so when my daughter got the, the math award, I was in the audience, and my wife was pulling on my jacket, I didn't care, and I was screaming, that's my boo right there, that's my boo right there, I was so happy, I was so happy. <laughs> She's pulling on me. The oh. daughter's going, oh, my God. Did you call Ancestry and put a leaf? Like, put a leaf on that. We got yeah. one. We got one that knows math. Yeah, I just kind of like, you know, just <laughs> <laughs> uh, But you mentioned to us that when you first got here uh, that your daughter is driving now. She's 16. How she is that possible? I can't believe she's 16 already. Yeah, she's 16. Yeah. You look terrified. Have you bought the shotgun or is a... Uh, 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 I wish I, there was something in my makeup called equal justice, and there, there isn't. Mm -hmm. I'm tough on my boys and my daughter. I, 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 don't even, I don't even know. I don't even know. If she cries, I lose my mind. Mm -hmm. You know, I do. I just lose my mind. She's a little Asian beauty, you know. And when they cry, there's no bottom eyelids, so the water just <laughs> pours out, you know, and it just <laughs> breaks your heart. Just, I don't know. She drives and I watch her go away going, oh, my God, how much life insurance do we have on that? <laughs> <laughs> She's a competitive cheerleader. I'm always hoping she loses because then I got to spend more money for her to go to the championship. And <laughs> I'm the only parent going, foul, foul, foul. <laughs> Behind it, though, right? <laughs> I am in the audience while she's throwing people up, going, "Fall, little girl, fall! Not my kid, fall!" <laughs> I don't want to pay for that Disney trip, fall, girl. Fall. <laughs> Cheerleading is something that I've really not been able to get into. I really haven't. I really haven't. Not Mothers at all. that know the dances better than the daughters, you know that's it, baby. It's time to go and pop it, pop it, pop it. I'm like, ma'am, you are 62 years old. Stop that. What are you doing? And I'm here back going, fall, fall. We need to turn the cameras on YouTube. What we, we need to do. I don't, I don't, um, oh, but God. You are going to have a great time. There's absolutely no way in the world you are going to go to the Funny Bone to see this guy and not come out without your sides and your yes. face hurting because you're laughing so hard because you are so relatable on so many different levels life is good my yeah, friend it is again he'll be at the funny bone tonight and tomorrow night get your tickets uh, you just show up at the door get your tickets or des moines.funnybone.com you're not going anywhere or we're going to take care of a little bit of business. get in that kitchen make uh, us some breakfast done yeah. okay, this guy's a heck of a cook too we'll talk about that when we come back this is iowa live on cw iowa 23.